Dearest human, why are you still awake? It's well past a reasonable hour, and you know all too well that you need to rest. More than that, you need to come to bed so that I might spend the night with you. Oh, that seems to have sent a shiver down your spine, didn't it? Are you finally ready to come find me again? To find your way into my embrace? Mm. Come now, my dear human. I've missed you so much through the day, and I hate that you have still not yet come to see me. The only time I can reach you with more than my voice is in your dreams, and yet you still refuse to close your eyes and allow me to finally have you. You spend hours staring at screens and working when you should be resting. You stress yourself until you fray the edges, and then continue to stress yourself even more. My dear, your mind needs rest. You need rest. Just as much as rest, you need care. And if you're not going to provide it to yourself, then you should at least allow me to provide it for you. Oh, but I can see the way your fingers hesitate. My words have caught your ear like a melody, and now they've tainted your thoughts. It's a tempting idea, is it not? To allow me to spoil your weary mind and body. Oh, but it could be more than a tempting thought, my dear. I could bring you to euphoria, allowing you to finally relax and rest against me. You know the feel of my skin against yours. Imagine it now. My hands running over your back, my nails softly tracing over your skin in those nonsensical swirling patterns that you love to get lost in. My lips against the shell of your ear, whispering sweet nothings against your skin like waves on the shore. My chest rising and falling in a hypnotic rhythm under your hand. It sounds like bliss. Certainly to me at least. And given from the way your eyes have fallen shut at my musings, I would hazard a guess that it sounds heavenly to you as well. Teasing you? Oh, dearest human, I would never tease you in such a way. I want nothing more to bring you peace. No, I won't deny that I may have my own motivations for my persistent urging you to go to bed. Mm, indeed. You know that already, though, don't you? I can tell from that knowing smirk. So wicked, yet so inviting. Well, if I must admit to my motivations to get you to come to bed with me, then I'll tell you each and every one. Firstly, I'd like to have the pleasure of seeing you again. As lovely as it is to be able to whisper in your ear, I can only see you when I'm in your dreams. And I do so greatly enjoy being able to see the surprise on your face when I pull you close. Not to mention that soft smile that you give me after we kiss. 
Which leads me to my second reason that I must continue to urge you to sleep. I want to kiss you again. More than that, I desire it. Crave it. With a hunger that knows not how to let me rest. The way your lips feel against mine. How you press yourself into my touch. The way you whisper my name as you lay your head on my shoulder when we finally kissed each other breathless. The final reason is that because when you're asleep, I know that I'm the only one to have you in my embrace. You belong to me and no other. When you're with me, no other human can try to seduce you and steal you away from me. When you find me in your dreams, I know it's because you chose to find me and that you are mine. I know that I have your heart more than any other human or demon, just as you have mine. And I will not allow you to take your heart back and give it to anyone else. You promise, do you? But you seem so devoted to those screams. To the messages that you read and the voices you hear from them. Then prove it to me, my dear human. Come to bed with me. Let me have you for myself. Give yourself to me and I will give you heaven in return. Oh, what's this? Have I finally convinced you to come to bed? Excellent. It's good to know that my words have such a strong effect on you. <laughs> Fine, I shall speak no more on how adorable I find it that I can charm you with my honeyed words, or on how I plan to do so many more times in the future. Oh, please, dearest, don't get so riled up by my teasing. I've finally convinced you to bed. It would not do any good for you to get stuck in your anger. I would hate for your agitation to keep you awake. Especially since we both know that you actually enjoy the way I tease you. What a cute scowl. Though I will admit that I prefer when you're smiling at me in that sweet way you do. So please... Lay down in your bed, wrap yourself in your blankets, and allow me to earn that enchanting smile of yours. Yes, good. Just like that. Now just listen to my voice. And let your eyes slowly close. Feel your breathing even out as my voice grows clearer, closer. Rest your mind. Picture nothing but me lying beside you. Now take a deep breath in, let it fill your lungs, and as you breathe out, open your eyes again. Hello, my dearest love, it's been far too long. 
Yes, I know that I own, it's only been since this morning since I've seen you. But hell is such a boring place to spend my days. I'd much rather spend my time in your bed. Now come here. I'm getting tired of waiting to have you back in my arms. Mm, there we are. It feels so good to have you in my arms again. Am I warm enough for you, my dear human? Good. I'm pleased to hear it. Now come here. Wrap your arms around me so I can warm you up even more. Oh. That caught me quite off guard. I'll admit that I had only intended to invite you to cuddle into my neck, as I know you love to do. However, I'm not objecting to your kisses in the least. Now, now, my dear, don't start getting embarrassed now. It was a surprise, yes, but a welcome one. One I'm very eager to repeat. Kiss me again, my dear. But I miss the feeling far too much. <clears throat> oh, did the feeling of my hand on your waist draw that enticing shiver from you? How adorable. Perhaps I should use my other hand to hold your face, since I know that you practically purr at the feeling of my thumb brushing over your cheek. Oh, you like the sound of that, do you? Then come closer, my dear, and allow me to feel the warmth of your skin against my palm. Ah, there's that lovely smile, so sweet, and only for me. You truly are a treasure, my dearest. The finest, one that I shall keep all to myself. Mm -hmm. Hells, but I've missed you, my dear. A day feels like an eternity when I'm not at your side, and the moments we are together are far too fleeting. I could hold on to you forever, should the universe allow it. Ah, oh, I wish I could be with you for every moment of our lives. It is my only greatest wish. You're right, dearest, of course you are. I should not linger on such thoughts of despair when I have you with me. I should instead pester you to share your lips with me again, so that I might know the taste of the ambrosia and bliss that your mouth holds. Oh, perfection, every bit of you. I swore it when I first saw you, and I will swear it until the end of time. I only wish that you would realize how much of a treasure you are, and take better care of yourself. I know, my love, but I love you too much not to say it. You need to sleep more. And not just so that you might see me again. You need your rest so that you don't collapse in on yourself, like you have many times before. And if the only way I can get you to sleep is to seduce you into your bed, 
then I will gladly do so. Of course, gladly. Now come closer and lay your head on my chest. Let me hold you close so I can whisper stories and sweet nothings for you to enjoy while you regain your energy. And that's very considerate of you, love. But if I were to receive as many kisses as I need from you, you wouldn't get any rest at all. For now, just rest in my arms and let me enjoy being in your presence again. Mm -hmm. Since you insist, I suppose that you can steal more kisses, should you wish to. But only so long as you try your best to rest and recover, too. Yes, you promise. Good. Then kiss me to your heart's content, and I shall keep you safe as you sleep. Oh, my dear, I love you so much. Sleep well. I shall be here the entire night. Mm. Good night, my love.